It looks like Pennsylvania is getting a new congressional map. Yeah, earlier today, the state's highest court called the current map unconstitutional. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Choate is live from your local election headquarters to explain what that ruling means to you. Kelly? Good evening, Nick and Candace. Pennsylvania's congressional map has received national attention. One of the contorted shapes was nicknamed Goofy Kicking Donald Duck. But now some changes could be on the way. Good afternoon, everyone. Calling it unconstitutional, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court ruled to throw out the state's congressional map. In a 4-3 to three decision, the court ordered lawmakers to come up with a new one that would be used in the primary election. These uh, gerrymandered uh, districts, it's political uh, chicanery gone wild, and thank God the court recognized that. The ruling is a victory to Democrats who claim that the districts were drawn to benefit Republicans. Since the map was created in 2011, Republicans have won 13 of the state's 18 congressional districts in three straight elections, despite the state being fairly evenly split among parties. But Senator Pat Toomey called the decision a power grab, adding that the proper role of judges is to enforce the law, not to legislate their political beliefs from the bench. Well, I was surprised mainly because of the speed in which this decision came down. David Yonkai from the LULAC political letter says voters should pay attention to this ruling because it could impact the candidates on the ballot. You're going to see a lot of Democrats who may not have decided to run reevaluating their positions and reassessing their positions. And that's kind of like a highfalutin way of saying they might have a shot, mainly because they would have a little bit of a better chance with a more fair district. Over on our Eyewitness News Facebook page, the comments are split. Philip Twist said, finally, some common sense. Gerrymandering is a terrible way for politicians to try to win. And Don Borzell posted, there's nothing to be fixed. Lawmakers have until February 9th to redraw that map, and then Governor Wolf has until February 15th to approve it. If that deadline isn't met, the court will adopt its own plan in an effort to keep the May 15th primary election on track. Live from your local election headquarters, Kelly Cho, Eyewitness News. Just became a hot button issue today, didn't it? Kelly, thank you. And by the way, the deadline to file paperwork to run in the primaries for Pennsylvania's congressional seats is March 6th.